So the other day when I took all of this apart, we got the drop spindles on here, I discovered that it still wouldn't lay down all the way. And while I was kind of wrapped up in all of that, I also discovered that I missed something. And I, of course, said that I'm, I, you know, I need to go down a quarter of an inch. When I looked into the back and the sections of the cross members that are laying on the ground, I noticed that the left side of the vehicle was a quarter inch lower than the right side of the vehicle, which the left side's pretty much on the ground. I said, well, that's kind of strange. It's gotta be here somewhere. I've only got a quarter inch to go. And I found out it's because this pocket right here is uh, still sitting on the uh, tension rod. So if I cut that out of there, I get my quarter inch of drop. Now I posted it up onto social media and I said, let's have a vote here. Let's see exactly what we can do. I have to rebuild this entire front suspension anyway. And it's gonna take a while for those parts to get in here. And of course for, I, you know, for me to get to it. So I said, well, should I just stall the whole build and wait? Or should I compensate for that other quarter inch and drop the chassis on the deck, start building the body? Now everybody said, don't ever compromise, don't compensate, do it right the first time. Well, the point of this is, this job is going to get done right the first time, but the timeline has nothing to do with it being right or wrong. I can still move on to the body, take that quarter inch out by cutting this pocket off, and nothing ever changes. The job still gets done, it still gets done right, it's just not gonna be done in the correct timeline, which nothing's wrong with that. So the plan now is to take that quarter inch out of that pocket, slam this thing on the deck and start building the body so we don't lose any time. I'm gonna cut that out, we'll get it on the deck, we'll start the body. We're gonna start the body. All right, this is what I'm feeling right here. All right, go this way, go that way. Something like that. About here-ish, yeah. Windshield there, front wheel there. So you're making an uncarved Pinewood Derby? I guess you could call it that. It's a brick. Uncarved Pinewood Derby. Well, either way, we're going to precision. I got the drawing already done. Hey, Birch. Bubble wrap. All right, so to make sure that everything on the body goes exactly the way that it's supposed to, to ease you know, assembly and putting it all together and not screw things up and everything else like that, I want precision fit, I want precision assembly, I want tight clearances, which means I need to be here at Precision Tube Blazer, which just happens to be right around the corner of my house. So they're gonna cut all the parts for the body of it, get everything going, and then we're gonna go back to the shop, put it all together. But I love this place. You gotta see this machine, it's so awesome. Jordan. It's like Ikea. <laughs> you know what that is? What is it? That is a car. <laughs> That's a car. That's a car. That's a car. Yes. <laughs> That's one side see, and then, see, they, see we need two of each. Where's the front and the back? Oh, the front's up there. Oh. On the front side. <laughs> yeah. Where's the back wheel? The, the, you don't need I, back wheel? No, no, no. You no, need no. a front wheel. Yeah. No back wheel. Well, you, you gotta turn. So I, I need two of everything. I won't show anybody. Yeah. <laughs> Two of everything. Two of everything. All right, fair enough. It's been kind of funny that I've been keeping the design in my head here. You know, there's been some things here and there that people are looking at, but we'll just see what the crowd has to say about it when I actually have it all together. But I'm pretty sure that people are either going to absolutely love it or hate it, but they'll probably keep on watching just to see how ridiculous this thing really is. <laughs> you know, you just kind of look at this and you're like, that's my car. When you look at these, and you'll see that they're different, slightly different, depending on which part we're looking at. So we got two different sizes of tubes here, and that's the unique part of it, or two different thicknesses of tubes here, and that's, what, what he did, okay, let me just try to explain this. What he did is that since this is all 06 wall, and we have some 120 wall coming in here, that literally this is coped, or, goes around, it has a little radius edge there. This is kind of the best part on this one, is that we have the tabs, we have the slots, and the primary reason I want Precision to do all this, right here, they just lock in right where they're supposed to be. You just can't mess this up. So we ran into a slight issue, and that's that they don't have enough material on hand and it hasn't been delivered yet, so. Where's my metal? So we probably got about 20, 30 minutes till the rest of it gets here. 
Minimum. Minimum. I mean, if Ronnie was driving, he'd just hop on the railroad track there and be like, hey, bro, just pitch it over the fence. Got you. <laughs> Those guys are awesome, though. All right. Well, we'll just sit around here and do this. Can you do this? <laughs> that was a good time to learn. Got to get my one for the gram. <laughs> Even Rocky had a long time. What do we want to call this one? We need a fancy hashtag. Ikea car body. <laughs> I go there for lunch sometimes and eat the meatballs. I like balls. Dirk's like balls. He likes the balls. Yes, we were smacking the balls last night, the driving range. But I was a little tired, so I offered my balls to the people next to us, and they were like, huh? It's like the greatest stuff ever. Like, you can't do this by hand. And if you could, it would take you way longer. And it's sailor proof. It means that you could do it. The water cooler is Yeah, the water cooler, that, yeah. Well, no, this is a little more straightforward than that, I think. <laughs> Insert tab A into slot B. <laughs> That's the grill I need? Yeah. What's wrong with the grill I got? Not quite big enough. It's good. Then I'll have to store this monstrosic thing. Did your wiener just squirt? It squirted right at me. <laughs> I got some on me. <laughs> You, you needed to have a uh, do a precision tube laser reality show. I mean, the other day you were playing hockey, so now it's like we get that super tight shot of you being yeah, like, we, we all, can't play we hockey anymore. We all went to get vasectomies together. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we just did it for fun around here. <laughs> <laughs> we did prosectomies. Prosectomies? Yeah, just for fun. I'm getting antsy, and because of that, I'm getting hungry. Oh, I could use that, I could use that, I could use that. Just come in here and raid their bins. No, nope, that's PDM. I don't know if where our order is supposed to come from. I have no idea. Well, I shouted at Ronnie earlier, and he says we're going to be first stop now. So, which that was still like almost an hour ago. Or bubble wrap. You want to get in on this? <laughs> this makes me like seriously super jealous. Like, I just, makes me jealous. Makes you, you own it. Somebody's gonna call it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's someone's gonna get to play with it all day, and it ain't gonna be me. Uh, <laughs> like people worry about it all the time. They're like, "Hey, machines are gonna, you know, do all this stuff for us. We don't need any skill." It's like, no, you still gotta operate it. And then, can you learn all of this stuff? Like all these menus and everything else like that. Like that's you, you gotta you gotta learn all that stuff. You gotta better yourself. I mean, it's. A, Good job. Hey, listen, <laughs> 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 now go away. I love this place, but I've been here too long today. We got ourselves some metal. Well, that's a problem. It's not on the truck. believe this. It's not on that truck. Hey, so after all this, that material's not even on this truck. No. Stuff for the fabrication series that he's been calling you about. Okay. All right. Give me a call back. You've got like uh, five minutes. Yeah, text. All right. It's probably just a miscommunication. Something happened. We don't really know exactly why it's not on there or who ordered or whatever the case is, but it's just, it's one of those uh, snafus. <laughs> it happens. It's, uh, you know, it's all part of the game. But... Nobody likes you. That's gotta be it. Nobody likes me. <laughs> we're supposed to find out if uh, we're gonna get a special delivery today. Otherwise, we're gonna go back and drop off what we've got and start working on that. We also got a dinner reservation tonight at like 5.40. So we're not gonna get a whole of hell of a lot of work done. I mean, we might. I don't think we're gonna get it. I don't think it's gonna take long to put that together, but the only thing is, is like, okay, I get only half of it together instead of all of it. 
You know, all we're waiting, we'll find out. If, okay. See if I can find out what, uh, how much was cut. Hey, do you know how much of, uh, of that was cut? 61 parts of all of Well, that's, it's one side. There's 52 on each one, I think. Let's see if I got enough to assemble one side. I, I should have enough to assemble one side. Actually, no, I don't, because he was cutting everything in pairs. We got some 40s. They're all they're all cut at random. We may be kind of stuck until tomorrow. Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Yeah. Justin, what up? I have no charge for Okay. Well, then we'll see it tomorrow. What's that? We'll see it tomorrow. First thing in the morning. First truck out. So I should be back here at about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Justin's, I apologize for <laughs> what happened. I don't know how. But yes, tomorrow in the morning. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks. I wouldn't. I'm just being polite. Say it with that. Fuck you, Ronnie. Fuck you. All right. Thanks. Thanks for nothing. Fine. Yeah. No. No. It's cool. Thanks, thanks for nothing. Yep. <laughs> It was a little bit delayed. We weren't really sure exactly when it was gonna show up, but when it did show up, it was kind of devastating to find out that it wasn't actually on the truck. That was probably the worst part. So when we were about ready to call it quits, out of nowhere, Justin comes out, gets another truck from another company to get out here immediately for a drop-off order. And that was absolutely insane. The guys at Precision, they, they just, they know what they're doing. They make people happy. They get stuff done. Justin's awesome. Uh, he literally just called another supplier and he'll have all the material here within the hour. That is insane. I know I'm sweating and I'm not doing anything. And it's just constant looking out the door. It, you know, it's like work, getting the work out here. I owe you uh, four cents. There is a truck. There's steel on it. Probably be a little bit until they actually get to ours again, but either way, it's not time. You see that? Look at that. Ooh. You still got time today to run that? Yeah. Okay. All right, you know, crazy schedule, but we there's still hope. We're back, okay, we're back by three. That's two hours. We're back by three. Come on, it's only two. We're good. We're good. We're good. Don't be so negative. I do. No, I can bring him back in the morning. Are you worried about that? Are you worried about that? I'd rather be here, not because of you, because we need it in the morning. He's letting me uh, borrow his trailer, which is really cool, very nice, but I have to have it back here today. So by the time we get over there, get offloaded, I get it back here, then we'll definitely have no time. And I know if I lay all this stuff out, I'm just gonna sit there being like, duh without eating. Then we have to... Oh, I'll need something to snack on yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah, I'll probably be one of those polite guests that just orders chips and salsa. <laughs> it's awesome, they just, just kind of spitting them out and bundling them up and, and hey, I know that one. Like, okay, that's where that one goes. Something like this for me to calculate exactly how much angle I need here, there, this angle, that angle, what offset it all sits at. Like this is, this would take forever to do. And it literally spit the thing out in about 12 seconds. Just an hour of CAD work and off you go. All I gotta do is not lose that paper. That's the only part I gotta worry about. Don't touch it.
Yeah, we got left. We got right. We're good. Yeah. Oh, what a freaking day. So tomorrow morning we'll just blast right through this. Should have it done in an hour. Finally made it back to the shop, barely got a minute to spare here to eat something. Right. This is the length of my car. Even though it felt kind of like a loss of a day, the highlight was just getting to kind of re relax, kick back, play around, you know, hang out with the guys at Precision. It's always a blast over there. I mean, that crew loves to work and they love what they do and you can tell. So knowing that we actually triumphed <laughs> and made it through all of that, that's, I bet that, you know, that feeling is probably the best part about the day. Out there. Yeah, it's a bit warm. Can you see my car? Sure. Oh, you'll love it. Some assembly required, but we have literally like a set of IKEA instructions. There it is. It's not what I thought. It's progress. Yeah, see? We're stepping in the right direction. See that. Why is it done yet? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if only you knew. Well, we had to go through today. Thank you. Really where I'm at right now is wanting to see all of this start to come together. I've been, I've been holding it in for so long about the design and seeing everybody's reaction about it is just, you know, now it's, now it's like we can put it together. I get to see it in real life and it, gotta wait another day.